to my UNC family. I say good night to my UNC family. Tonight, my job here is easy. I am here to endorse the star team. I am here to endorse Ms. Kamala Passad Bissessa, our beloved political leader and our next prime minister. There is too many constituencies seated here. I know that we had enough. Who had enough here? Say enough is enough. All you see the price of chicken? Now if all you see the price of chicken, all you say enough is enough a little harder. All you see the price of flour? From the time Kamala left office to now. Just now we might have to stop eating flour and we have to stop eating chicken. So what are we going to eat? No, we're not eating grass. You know what we're going to do? We're going to come out on the 26th and put back the Honorable Mrs. Kamla Passad Bissessa, a woman that cares for us, a woman that has shown her compassion time and time again, a woman that would have used that compassion and turned it into action. She don't just come with manifestos like the PNM government. And the day before election, they remember, hey, we didn't do this, boy. During the course of 2010 to 2015, she built schools. Every speaker here would have told you how many schools, how many children would have benefited from laptop. She gave the children grant. She built the life fund. She built the hospital. She took that life fund and she made sure that every MP seated here contributed a portion of their salary to that life fund. This PNM government have not done that. Instead, it's one scandal after the next. And now they're putting scandal with our children in the schools and in the homes. So if you had enough, say you had enough. Don't just come and sit down here. As, as each one of the speakers said, this is the time for battle. I'm going to say this is the war cry. We are here to rally the troops. The purpose of tonight is to rally the troops. We are rallying for internal. And after internal, as our election officer said, we are going into local. And after local is general. But I want us to be ready. I want us to forget the infighting. I want us to forget all who say saying that our leader is not capable. I am here to tell you she's capable. I am here to tell you I would have served in many, many different positions in this party. Who here amongst us are street captains? I was a street, I am a proud street captain. I still check on my machinery to date and I'm asking you to go out there and check on your machinery because I started as a street captain. Then graduated to councillor and now I'm the member of parliament and that is because our great leader saw potential. Underneath her there is always room for growth. She does yeah! not stifle as some will have us believe. You know why the PNM government fear the Honorable Kamala Passad Bissessa? Because of the passion and the love she shows. And because of that passion and that love, we are gathered here tonight. And she could call a meeting, as I would say, like my granny would say, she could call a meeting in her aunt's nest. And we, her troops, will be present. And they fear that power is the power she reigns over the hearts of Trinidad and Tobago. And you know why? They know she's going back into government. And you know what has hurt me? Is that the people she loved the most question her strength. But we are gathered here tonight to rally you and to tell you to stand. I stand proudly at the side of Mrs. Kamala Passad Bissessa. And yeah! I and my constituency, Murga Tableland, we are ready for war. Because we stand with a woman of action, a woman that is going to bring back this country. The only person capable to remove all this destruction is the Honorable Kamala Passad Bissessa. And before I leave the podium, I must say that I am proud of the slate chosen. I am proud of my deputy political leaders. One is seated here. And when you hear that lion come and he roars tonight, you will see why. We call him the lion. And I am proud of my honorable Miss Jolene John. Now that woman yeah! is a fighter. When I invite Miss Jolene John to walk, I just, I just have to run. She'll say she's walking, eh? but I just have to run to catch up. Because when you're here, it comes for party work and work for the people. She don't make business. 
She called me at 4 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. It has to get done. And these are the people that we are going to put in place to see about your business, my business, and the business of Trinidad and Tobago. So I'm asking you on the 26th yeah! to come out and put back Mrs. Kamla Pasad, Mrs. I thank you, my beloved brothers and sisters.